Welcome back. Canadian celebrities are investing in Ontario wine and their success is spilling over into the local industry. Sales of VQA wines made from 100% Ontario grapes have jumped almost 60% in the last six years. Tonight, our Brittany Gogo takes a look at the celebrity wine trend and the power of a big name. The number 99 is a symbol of hockey greatness, but it's also now a symbol of great wine. Wayne Gretzky is just one of many celebrities in the wine business and his bottles are flying off the shelves. And there's a novelty factor, he's a legend. So, you know, to be able to buy something that has his name on it, I think is exciting for Canadians. The brand has been so successful that it outgrew its Vineland location and closed at the end of October. It's now moved to Andrew Peller, a parent company of several other Niagara wineries. And Gretzky's not the only celebrity with his name on a bottle. Canadian golfer Mike Weir launched the first celebrity brand in Canada in 2005. We launched with 400 cases of Pinot Noir and vintages at uh, $22.95 a bottle and it sold out in 14 days. Both the Weir and Gretzky brands sell about 20,000 cases each a year. Some smaller wineries sell less than half that amount. It's clear when you take a walk down the wine aisle at the liquor store there are more choices than ever. But these celebrity endorsements have been a major boost for Ontario's industry. In 2005, VQA wine sales were $180 Last year, they were $290 million. Uh, Just by seeing the label, it can, it can cause a consumer to gravitate towards the Ontario wine section in the store. We really have to make our mark and make sure that we make great VQA wines that can get people's attention on the shelf and the Gretzky name will absolutely do that. Canadian comedian and actor Dan Aykroyd launched his brand in 2006. A few years later, Diamond Estates Wine and Spirits announced that his line will be folded into a new hospitality centre here in Niagara-on-the-Lake. And after operating without a home for seven years, Weir's Winery will set up shop at the former East Dell Estates in Beamsville later this year. And many of the local wineries agree that this star power has helped put Ontario wines on the map. Brittany Gogo, CHCH News.